Hey everyone, um, we're going to keep going. Uh, first thing I want to mention is we have a webinar at Anecta on the 12th, so please check it out. It's a finance tips and tricks or something like that. I'm sure it's going to be awesome. You can just log in, it's free. So if you have the time, sign up, uh, join us. But other than that, we're going to get straight into this uh, video's topic, which is location. So actually locations are fairly complicated in business center or in general in uh, in businesses but when you sign into Cronus in business central they've made it very simple for you uh, if you start interacting with inventory it all goes into the blank location and what we're going to do is explain to you how complicated locations can be just briefly and also show you how you can move inventory into some location or different locations rather than just being in the blank location uh, i'm sure you were wondering when we were doing the videos on supply and demand and purchasing where the inventory was going um, and so i'm going to show you that but first let's take a look at a diagram let's talk about locations a location is basically a container of inventory you can receive product into the location and you can ship out of the location so if you set up locations in, the, in Business Central, you don't know where inside the location your inventory is, but you know that it's at that location. Um, in the beginning, when you work with Business Central and Kronos and you just receive inventory and ship inventory, it goes into a blank location, which is just a normal location with no name. Uh, it's obviously not good to work with that if you have multiple locations. Uh, so we're going to show you how to move out of the blank location and into named locations. Now, if you're interested in knowing where inside the location your inventory is, you would have to set up something called zones. And in zones, or zones are set up for a purpose. In this case, we have the receiving zone, we have two storage zones, and a shipping zone. So this would be a fairly simple setup of zones inside the warehouse. Further, you can set up bins inside the zones. So for example, here in the receiving zone, we have three bins and that usually corresponds to the doors of the warehouse. So if you have receiving doors, um, here we have three, B1, B2, B3, you can tell where um, the inventory is coming in from. And then the inventory would get moved into storage and then picked into shipping and shipped out of one of the shipping doors. So you can manage your inventory by bins all the way through. Now this is much more complicated than we've gotten into yet. Uh, and we're not gonna go into that in the video, at least not this one, we might in a further videos, but it will give you an understanding of how you can break up locations in Business Central. Now let's look at the application. Uh, if we go into the search and go into locations, we come to a list of locations. Now here we have basically three normal locations and two not as normal locations. Uh, the normal locations are East, West and Main. Uh, these are normal uh, locations that, although they don't have any bins or any zones, uh, they are proper locations. The outsourced logistics and own logistics, these are in transit locations and they are only used for transfer orders, which we will cover uh, later. So what we want to do is move our inventory of the coffee mugs from the black location into the main location. So let's go ahead and go into items. Uh, and I am gonna just view by tall tiles because I love the pictures here. And I can see that I have 20 pieces of my Anecta coffee mug. And all I have to do is just go into uh, an item, adjust inventory. And I can see here that I have inventory 20, but it's in an unspecified location. So this is how Business Central handles when you are not specifying the location and you're allowed to actually post into a black location. If you only have one location and you really don't care about location management, you could run the entire system on a blank location and never have to set up these locations. 
however, we are going to get a little bit more sophisticated. So I'm going to change the inventory here to zero on the unspecified location and put it into the main location and just hit OK. And now the system actually moves the inventory. It registers a negative adjustment to blank and positive adjustment to main. So if I go into my coffee mug again here, I can then go into navigate and see the availability by uh, location. And I can see now that I have in the main location, I have 20. So this has been moved into a proper location, which is good. Now let's quickly take a look at locations again. If I go into uh, one of the locations, for example, the main, and take a look at that, I can see that we have information about where it's located, uh, who is the contact, etc. And here's a checkbox, use as in transit. Now, if this is checked, this location becomes unusable for normal transactions. It will only be usable when you're transferring inventory from one location to another. And this serves as the interim uh, location. And we will touch on that later. Also, uh, there's a whole lot of setup about bins. And I showed you in the diagram how we can get into zones and bins. So for example, up here, we could start setting up a bunch of bins for the location and start interacting with that. And again, that's something for a different video as well. So stay tuned to get deeper into locations once we get to that. Uh, but at least for now, you know how to get it into a normal location from the black location. Mm -hmm.